Good Monday. I'm Chris Fogt. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Sharona. Good morning. Today with us is uh, Heather. She's also known as the smiley girl all around <laughs> the, the web. She's very famous and uh, on the forums. World famous? World famous. <laughs> and um, her but last not name, <laughs> her, her, not in a bad manner. <laughs> she's, she's very ethical and honest. But, um, but um, her last name is as hard Van as Hagen. mine, I think. Van so Hagen. say, 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 say what, what your last name is. Hi, Vernon. Hi, Vernon. Hi, Vernon. See, that's, that's Hi, easy. Hi, Vernon. Yeah. That's easy. So, Heather, what do you do? Um, I do affiliate marketing full time. Uh, my primary job, though, is being a good parent to my two beautiful girls, which is why I do affiliate marketing full time. <laughs> so that I can uh, have the time and the flexibility in my schedule to do stuff with them. Mm -hmm. For people who doesn't know what affiliate marketing is, explain a little bit. What, what is affiliate marketing? Um, basically, uh, my model. There are many ways you can do affiliate marketing. Many, many, many ways. Mm -hmm. But my basic model is: um, if you think about a magazine, mm -hmm. um, like an offline magazine, like Vogue. Okay, so you buy Vogue for the content, or maybe you buy it to look at the ads, I don't know. But um, Vogue pays for the magazine with their ads. Well, I build good content websites, and I pay for my websites with the ads. So basically, I basically do magazine type stuff online. Oh, okay. That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. But, but one thing about you is, like, you always say that you'll never endorse a product that you don't like. Right. I do have negative reviews on my websites of products that I don't like. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. I try to I try to be very ethical and honest in what I do. So, so what this is Monday morning jolt. Uh -huh. I want to know uh, what makes Mondays good for you. Mondays. Well, I get to go to work. <laughs> Actually, on Mondays, Mondays is typically my day to work from home. I usually, um, I have an office at the Innovation Center, um, well, really a desk in their um, mm -hmm. uh, co-working facility called Destination Your Future, and uh, I like that a lot. It's, it's a lot of fun, but usually Mondays I stay home, and I work from home and stay in my PJs all day and do laundry, so <laughs> it's kind of a nice lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> now that they have all this video, though, that people can see you with your jammies on at home. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> we're not going to video me in my jammies. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> do you do anything to kickstart your, your Monday? Do you have any ritual that you go through on Monday? No, nope, oh, just then. get my kids out of the house. <laughs> Put it to school. Change your pajamas into your pajamas. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so what kind of advice can you give the other businesses? I mean, you know, you have a certain model that you do. Mm -hmm. uh, so people who start up in affiliated marketing or something else like that, what kind of advice can you give those um, people? I'd say the biggest thing is once you learn how your basic business model is going to work and start getting any income in at all, you should outsource as much work as you possibly can. Your income will grow much, much, much more quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think, Heather, one thing that we forgot was you are an author too. Yes. And then you have a book coming up. Yes. What is this book and what is it about? Well, it's a, it's a guide um, and it's called Internet Outsourcing Mastery. It's based on my experiences with outsourcing to the Philippines. I have a, a full-time worker in the Philippines who does a lot of my content generation and other tasks for me. And um, it is, uh, you can get it online at internetoutsourcingmastery.com. <laughs> So it's uh, 42 pages and just step by step about how to find an outsourced worker and um, whether you have $100 or several thousand dollars to spend. Um, yeah. One of the things that people don't realize is that it's very cost effective to hire from other countries because of the leverage of the dollar. So. And do you have an adage or a philosophy by which you run your business? You know, you talked about honesty and. Uh, but do you have something that really guides you in your um, business? I, I'm kind of guided in my business by Thomas Edison's quote, um, the key, the genius is in sticking to it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Isn't that the truth? <laughs> and with my discussion, you told me that you have tried many, many, many things for years before you finally came yes. up with 
something and said, this is it. Yes. And I like it, I'm going to go with it. Yes. So it's not always... <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a lot of money and a lot of sweat equity. A lot of sweat equity, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. And you probably heard the superpower question, so we want to know what... If you could have any superpower, what would that superpower be? Gosh, that would have to be telekinetic. That would be so cool. <laughs> Being able to move <laughs> things with things. your mind. Yeah. <laughs> I would have yeah. my porch furniture out right now if that were the case. <laughs> Either that or super speed. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. And is there anything uh, about you that if even people that are close to you don't know? Gosh. Any, that would surprise them. I don't know. I'm really like a wear my heart on my sleeve kind of person. <laughs> so I, I would say, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I love sci-fi, but most people who are close to me know that. Know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I could be one. I would like to be Wonder Woman. That would be cool. Wonder Woman. The new, the new Wonder Woman or the <laughs> classic Wonder Woman? No, Linda Carter's Wonder Woman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know these? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I'm still my age there. Yeah. I don't know the new Wonder Woman, but I know about Linda Carter's Linda Carter. Wonder Woman. Yes. When, uh, when is I'm, there a new? Wonder there's, Woman there's too? A new one. Oh, okay. Yes, they redesigned her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, how do people get hold of you? What are your websites and... Uh... I would say the best way is to probably go to the internet um, outsourcingmastery.com or you can go to, um, if you want to learn more about me personally, you can go to myworkathomeblog.net. That one's not so pretty because I started it when I was beginning, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> But it's got a lot of information. It's got a lot of information. I've kind of written about my experiences over time. So, But in this business, it's not about um, pretty. It's about content. It's yes. about quality. Yes. It doesn't have to be pretty. No, and in fact, ugly sells better usually. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, not ugly. Ugly is probably not the right word. Clean. Clean. <laughs> Clean sells better. <laughs> Less junk on the page. What we used to call uh, more white space. Yes, minimalist <laughs> on paper. So we would like to thank uh, Heather for coming and joining us today. And we would like to thank um, Higher Grounds. We are recording at Higher Grounds downtown. And uh, <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> this is Monday morning. Joel, use it.